NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has found the universe's oldest known black hole. Astronomers think that the young universe may have been full of even older black holes. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, which has a powerful camera that can look back in time to when the universe was young, found the supermassive black hole, which has a mass 10 million times that of the Sun, at the center of a young galaxy 570 million years after the universe began. The width of the supermassive black hole is 10 billion light years, and it is 10 million light years deep. The monster of the universe might be just one of an endless number of black holes that grew bigger and bigger as the universe began. This is the time period that started about 100 million years after the Big Bang and lasted a billion years. During this time, the early universe shone brightly. Astronomers don't know why or how there were so many of these black holes or how they got so big. The results of the research that led to the most recent black hole discovery were posted on the preprint service AirXIV on March 15th. However, the research has not been reviewed yet by other scientists. Rebecca Larson, the lead author of the study and a scientist at the University of Texas in Austin, told Live Science this is the first one we're finding at this redshift. Point in time after the Big Bang, but there should be many more. We think this black hole didn't form recently, so there should be more that are younger and happened earlier in the history of the universe. With the help of the JWST, we've just started to look into this time in the past of the universe in this way. And I can't wait until we find more of them. Black holes are made when two huge stars crash into each other, and they keep growing by eating all the gas, dust, stars, and other black holes around them. Some of the gluttonous space-time ruptures heat up the material spiraling into them because of friction. This makes them what are called active galactic nuclei, because they give off light that can be seen through cameras. Quasars are the most extreme type of asymmetric galactic centers. They are made up of supermassive black holes that are billions of times heavier than the Sun and shed their gaseous shells with light blasts that are trillions of times brighter than the brightest stars. Because light moves at the same speed through the vacuum of space, the more scientists look into the universe, the more far away light they can catch, and the further back in time they can see. Astronomers were able to find the black hole by sweeping the sky with two infrared cameras the mid-infrared instrument, or MIRI, of the James Webb Space Telescope, and the near-infrared camera, and using the built-in spectrographs of the cameras to separate the light into its component frequencies. By putting these faint glimmers from the beginning of the universe back together, they found a surprising jump in the light's frequencies. This was one of the most important signs that the hot material around the black hole was sending out tiny amounts of radiation all over the universe. This was found by figuring out how these faint glimmers from the early world worked. The lightning-fast formation of black holes in our still young universe is still a mystery. Astronomers are still looking for black holes that are even younger. They call these black holes primordial. People think that these black holes formed very soon after the Big Bang, or even before it, according to some ideas. What is the biggest black hole we know of in the universe? And is there a limit to how big these holes can get? Black holes are some of the biggest things that can be found in one place in space. But which is the biggest black hole that we know of? And how much bigger can they get? Scientists have found that there is a possible limit to how big black holes can get. Black holes are cosmic events that are so big that not even light can get out of them. Also, the largest black hole that has been seen directly and whose mass has been confirmed is close to the top of this range. This scary beast is called Ton 618, which is a good name for it, and it weighs close to 40 billion solar masses. Ton 618 has a radius of more than 1,000 astronomical units. This means that if the black hole were in the middle of the solar system, you would be less than 5% of the way to the edge of the black hole by the time you got to Pluto. This is because the black hole's radius would be bigger than 1000 AU if it were in the middle of the solar system. It takes about 18.2 billion light years to get from Earth to Ton 618. Keynes Venatici and Coma Bernices are two constellations that are close to each other in the night sky, and it is right on the border between the two. 
Astronomers first saw it in 1957, when they did a scan at Mexico's Tonenzintla Observatory. At the time, they didn't know what it was. At first, they thought it was a dim blue star. But measurements done a decade later showed that what they had really seen was powerful radiation coming from material dropping into a large black hole. A quasar gets its power from Ton 618. It is one of the brightest things in the universe and has the same amount of light as 140 trillion suns. Quasars get their light from the black hole at the center of the galaxy that is home to them. When matter close to a black hole gets sucked in, it gets extremely compressed and hot, which causes it to send out a huge amount of radiation. Individual events, like the most powerful supernovas, can block out quasars for a short time. But these things only last for a few weeks at the most. On the other hand, quasars can keep shining bright for millions of years. But quasars are so far away that even the most powerful telescopes can only see them as dim specks of light. They were first found by scientists because they send out a lot of radio waves. Quasars are black holes that are very big and actively eat matter from their surroundings. Supermassive black holes get big because they merge with other black holes and keep eating matter from their surroundings. The rate at which a black hole eats up matter and energy can tell us how big it is. These cosmic hoover cleaners can only eat a certain amount of matter in a certain amount of time. The falling matter heats up the space around it and makes it give off radiation, which causes a quasar to form. But the energy also heats up the material, which slows down its fall into the black hole. Because of this, black holes can't grow too quickly. Astronomers can figure out how big a black hole can get by multiplying the rate at which it takes in matter by the age of the universe. This means that the most it could weigh is possibly around 50 billion times the mass of the Sun. Even so, that's just a rough guess. There may be other, even stranger ways to make black holes, like the direct fall of large clumps of dark matter at an earlier time in the universe's history. So it's possible that there are a lot more big black holes out there that haven't been found yet. That was all from this video. What do you think about these black holes? Do you think it can be dangerous? Personally, I find them very scary, especially the video that came out where these voices came out of the black hole. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more interesting information. Stay tuned for more and turn the notifications bell icon on so you know the minute we post another video.